Hi Soul Tribe, this is Rene Asiri from InsideJobHealing.com coming to you with this week's energy and astro collective forecast. Well, these are some intense energies. We just had a full moon in Pisces on Monday, September 20th. We're still feeling the effects because as I always mention, <laughs> with the moon, new and full moon, we feel it three days before and three days after. A lot of people were extremely cranky on Monday and they didn't know why. And then I told them that it's the full moon and it made sense. So um, so essentially this full moon in Pisces, if you think about Pisces, Pisces is a sign of the past, whereas Aquarius is a sign of the future. So the past is gonna come up. Pisces is a water sign. So think emotions, tears, waterworks, sadness. Um, it is ruled by Neptune, which is, you know, it brings up emotion, sadness, kind of wonky, um, unresolved and unprocessed emotions from the past. So that's going to come up. Um, and then you have the moon, the full moon in opposition, in conjunction, I should say, to Neptune, which is the ruler of Pisces. So this is kind of like amplified all of these Piscean themes, all these Neptunian themes of spirituality, intuition, um, realignment, um, you know, feeling a lot of emotions um, and the past. So that's all coming to the surface. And then you have the full moon in sextile to Pluto, which is in Capricorn. So if you think about Pluto, Pluto is the planet of, um, you know, of death and rebirth and deep transformation and deep change. So we're going through this internal shift, guys, um, because we find ourselves in this new paradigm and things may not necessarily have turned out the way that we expected them to. Um, we started this trajectory last December with the eclipse and then that kind of moved us forward with this June with the eclipse in Gemini. And so really we're just kind of on this uh, transformation train essentially, but we have found that we're not in control. And that's really frustrating to a lot of people, especially we've had that Uranus, which is the planet of sudden change um, and unexpected surprises, be in opposition to Saturn all year, right? We have that Saturn-Uranus conjunction um, and Saturn's all about um, you know, keeping things the same, the status quo, you know, the responsible stern planet, the solid foundation. So it's like we have this tug of war between, you know, the change that we're trying to make and then the old ways of seeing things and doing things and thinking and our old patterns and our ways of being. And so um, that's all you know, has been challenged all year. We've taken two steps forward one step back and so on and so forth. We're still dealing with a pandemic. We're still dealing with COVID. We're dealing with so many shortages and so many challenges. A lot of us are extremely exhausted because we feel like we've been giving and giving and giving and we feel very depleted. Um, and then it just feels like we are serving from an empty cup. And with Pisces, another theme with Pisces and Neptune is rest and relaxation. So I really encourage you over the next few days to really get as much rest and relaxation that you can. And while you're trying to realign yourself and realign your life, to try to come to this place of peace and rest and relaxation. It doesn't mean do nothing and sit on the couch um, and watch TV and eat ho-hos. It means have a more relaxed approach when you are doing work or doing things, you know, um, whether it's at the office or at home, but just have like a relaxed, more peaceful approach to things and do get lots of rest. Um, you know, maybe, maybe hit that snooze alarm this week, maybe not go to the gym, um, you know, one day and just kind of sleep in or something like just give yourself permission to rest Give yourself permission to relax because that is definitely one of the Piscean Neptunian themes. Um, and just give yourself to, time to integrate those unprocessed emotions that I talked about um, and heal. You know, uh, Pluto is not just about transformation, but it's healing from a very deep level. Um, and especially with Pisces being the past, it's the last sign of the zodiac. Um, so definitely take some time to lick your past wounds, take some time to really process the emotions, um, and take some time to see like what isn't in alignment in your life and what has been frustrating with that Saturn Uranus conjunction and what things can you bring into alignment? What things do you have to do? Because now we're approaching the fall. This is, you know, September 21st, the last day of summer. 
and then we're approaching the fall and then we're in 2022. So what are some goals? What are some things that you've tried to, uh, you know, put into place since January that have had challenges, that have been frustrating, that have been blocked with all of the astrology and all the cosmic energies? So that's what I invite you to do. Um, Also with Pisces and Neptune, another theme is surrender, having faith and acceptance and really kind of letting go and letting God. And that's been very difficult for a lot of us because especially those of us that are students of manifestation, we're like, no, I want to manifest. I want to force things into being. I want it to be my way, right? So we have this kind of very, I feel like, you know, our society wants instant gratification. We get very frustrated if things don't go our way. We don't see the bigger picture. We don't trust in the higher self. The ego wants to take over. The ego has timelines, but no, but I wanted to start my Airbnb, you know, <laughs> um, in October of 2021, or I wanted to buy that house in May of 2021. Like we just have all these timelines, even though, you know, quantum physics tells us that time is not linear and time does not exist. Um, it's just a reference point that we've created artificially, but the ego has timelines and the ego wants to force things and the ego wants to manipulate. Um, and the ego doesn't want to be patient and the ego does not want to wait. Um, and so we find ourselves just kind of like feeling very frustrated because we feel like we've been giving, 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 pushing, 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 forcing, 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 toiling, 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 <laughs> hustling, 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 and pushing the rock up the mountain. And sometimes it feels like it's going to roll backwards on us. So what I'm asking you to do with this paradigm shift is to chill, to you know, be laid back to have a sense of peace, rest and relaxation about you, um, to assess what's in a, not in alignment and start working towards that, to be more flexible with the timelines, to understand that we do have some things working against us, cosmically speaking, um, to have faith and trust, to accept things as they are, because until you accept things as they are, they're not going to change because you're going to be in resistance and the law of attraction is whatever you resist persists. So if you want to attract more opportunities, if you want to feel worthy of receiving that you need to create an atmosphere where you are super chill, open to receiving, feeling abundant, um, and not being attached to the outcome and just realizing that you have to let go Um, and you don't need to force things into being. And so I want to come back to this manipulation theme. It's really interesting because whether it's in sales or whether it's anything we do, people pleasing, whatever, um, I find it really interesting because the holistic psychologist on Instagram just posted something like people pleasing is unconscious manipulation. And that's very interesting. Um, So I want you to think about that for a minute. And I want you to think about how in sales or anything we do in transactions and whatever in work, Um, in relationships, sometimes we want to manipulate people to do the things that we want. And if we don't get our way, we have like a huge temper tantrum. And it doesn't matter how old you are, or if you think you're an adult, there is still that inner child inside of you. And so I just kind of want us to, to like, look at that for a moment and see like, you know, do we feel like we need to manipulate people and situations and things and environments to get our way? Or are we willing to like set back and say, you know, the universe has my back and there are certain things that I would like and I'm going to work towards them, but I'm not going to try to manipulate people into agreeing with me or signing contracts or doing what I want and that life is really a negotiation and it's a co-creative process. So I really want you to think about this theme of manipulation and how a lot of us do want to manipulate things so they can go our way. So yeah, so I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, uh, definitely the energies are really intense right now for those of us that are really sensitive. Um, you know, just be mindful of that. Be mindful of your energy levels. Take care of yourself. Drink lots of water. Um, you know, definitely don't push yourself. Just rest and relax. Let things come to you instead of feeling like you have to hustle and manipulate Um, and force your way and you have to micromanage the situation. I've been saying this for months. Just allow the yin energy of receptivity um, and receiving and that femininity, um, whether you're male or female, to attract things. Focus on your magnetism. Focus on raising your vibration and focus on, um, you know, feeling worthy of receiving um, and focus on trusting, trusting, because a lot of us don't trust. Okay, a lot of us are attached to the outcome. No, I want that one. I want that guy. I want that girl. I want that relationship. I want that car. I want that house. Um, And we just kind of want to force it. 
but what if something better is around the corner? So love you guys lots. Serena with InsideJobHealing.com.